Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson and here's the seafood news for the week of May 9th, 2016. The last week's ground fish quota announcements are set to shake up the East Coast market in spite of scientific research showing decent biomass estimates. Yellowtail flounder is a popular product for the region, but catch limits have been trimmed by 25% to only 734 metric tons for the area. The biggest cut of all was actually to the Georges Bank cod quota, a massive 66% decrease down to 608 metric tons. Multi-species fisheries suffer from 100% catch retention, so even though the Georges Bank had a quota increased to 52,000 metric tons, cod catch limits will prevent full harvest. If fishing continues at the same pace as last year, the fishery could close as early as September or October. Double-digit cuts to all flat species will leave buyers scrambling for substitutes. Our Tradex Live offer of the week is for 48 ounce IQF Arrowtooth Flounder Fillets. We have 10,000 pounds of boneless, skinless Alaskan wild caught 2016 production in Seattle for $1.40 a pound. Click or tap the icon above to view this offer. So what will fill the gap for these dramatic quota reductions? Flathead and rock sole used to be processed on the East Coast, but bigger sole processors are now opting for yellowtail flounder. We spoke with Scott Bode from Pure Fish to see what is filling the supply chain. The, the biggest thing is with yellowtails, most, uh, most of all of our yellowtails are coming from, or most of them are coming all from the Grand Banks, which is an international fishery. Uh, our domestic fishery is just uh, less and less quota. The Grand Banks fishery in Newfoundland is an international fishery with quota of 17,000 metric tons, primarily allocated for Canada. Scott alluded to less flounder availability in the fresh market, so refreshed yellowtail is becoming more prevalent. All of the frozen at sea product enters the east coast as refresh because of 95% of the domestically landed flounder sells fresh right into the marketplace. Smaller sized yellowtail fillets like the 2 to 4 ounce are currently around $4.75 a pound on the east coast with larger fillets like the 4 to 6 ounce in the high fives. Processors will continue to hope for increased East Coast quotas, but in the meantime, expect sole and flounder prices to rise. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.